Welcome back, Hacksters. Uh, we have finished the Thanksgiving holiday and I'm back from China. So uh, I thought for this MCU Monday, I would share a cool little board that I acquired at Maker Faire Shenzhen. This is called the Kitten Bot. Um, it's part of a system that it includes bots that work with the Microbit and the Raspberry Pi. It's got this adorable little cat logo, which I just love, and it's teal color and it's great. Um, what does it actually do? Let's find out. But here first is a quick look at it. It runs on a giant 18650 LiPo battery, uh, 3.7 volts, which is rechargeable. Uh, you might have seen these around. But it's a robot, so who cares how big it is? Um, and then you stick a little micro bit in the slot. I had to do a lot of negotiating to be like, no, I already have one of these. Can I get one of those? And they sell it usually in all in one kit. Um, these bits here are a stepper motor and a servo that I've added because I'm trying to get it up and running, uh, which should be pretty easy. The only issue is that my computer is not recognizing it over USB, but I hope to have that solved by you know, a few days from now and I'll have some cool updates for you on how to actually get going with that. So let's take a look at their web presence. We've got, uh, the kitten bot. Yes. Um, they're on Twitter. And as you can see, the the piece that I acquired, the robot bit, um, which links this system to the micro bit, uh, is uh, it had its actual debut at the fair, so that's pretty cool. Um, Christina Zhang seems to be a person of note. She both runs the blog and also got interviewed recently about this uh, for Lighthouse Arts. So check this out if you want to see more of their um, news and things, and a couple of little videos about how this thing is being used. I love this thing. Uh, this also runs on the robot bit, um, and, as far as I can tell anyway, and it has this sweet little chassis that you can buy, and cute little kitten eyes with little ears sticking up. Um, pardon any noise, by the way, we are getting our door fixed because someone decided to take advantage of the holiday and try to break in. They did not succeed, uh, and so we are here with a little bit of chaos, but it's not that bad. Um, they have a site in mostly English and one in mostly Chinese. That's kittenbot.cc and kittenbot.cn. Um, yeah, so you can see all their various di different products on here, as well as a link to their blog and stuff. Um, we have a BBS as well, which is kind of cool. Do, 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 do. Come on. Yeah. Um, so if you get hold of yours, you can start. However, the whole thing is pretty new, so there isn't a lot of content up yet here or under the tutorials. Um, however, they also have a GitHub presence where you can check some of this stuff out. Uh, and also, the Chinese site is a little bit more populated. For example, the products page shows you all these cool things that you can buy. To go along with it, there's some that's based on uh, Espressif Wi-Fi technology. Um, you've got ones that plug into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, this little guy has Omni wheels, and this one has a different one, which is both Omni wheels but different types of them, which is super cool. Uh, if you're not aware, Omni wheels are these cool wheels that can drive forwards, backwards, and left and right all in one wheel, which is kind of crazy. Um, they've also got ones with tank treads, and uh, yeah. So their GitHub includes um, things like uh, plugins for Scratch and for Microsoft Make Code. They have their own version of Scratch that they call Kitten Block, which we'll take a look at in a second, which you can download for uh, Windows or Mac right now. There's also an app for iOS and Android. So um, yeah, you can check them out. This is uh, just one of their repos. They have a user kitten bot, or a group rather. Um, that tells you a little bit more about it. Uh, yeah, you can get it running on your PC. This includes Mac and Windows. Kitten Block is the, the software. PXT Robot Bit is the extension for Microsoft Make Code. Um, they're on their site off of here as well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, explore on there. This is how to explore. Uh, install the extensions for Microsoft Make Code because I was just sort of poking around on this whole ecosystem. Um, oh yeah, again, this is just that products page that we looked at earlier. But you can also get it on Taobao 
and on Amazon, actually. Uh, so here is the robot bit that we looked at before. Here's the, uh, I don't know if you can actually see my cursor. Can you? No, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, up there, there <laughs> is the, uh, the robot bit that I have here in the studio with me, uh, along with the awesome bright shiny purple battery. And then up there is the little pointy-eared kitten bit. Um, so that, you, you can see here that there's one that has a little LED screen and there's one that has uh, an ultrasonic sensor. And you can also plug in these two little LED rings, which seem like they would make really cute little eyes and stuff. You can get different colors of chassis and stuff. Uh, really cool. Um, little rover guy. Uh, LFR, I believe, stands for Line Follower, uh, which is supported by all these sensors on the front. You've got an infrared transmitter LED and receiver. You've got uh, a couple other LEDs on there. And of course, your driver motors. Um, yeah, let's check out what's next. Oh yeah, and then uh, ways of using it and more things to buy. Yeah, and then on Amazon, just look for KittenBot. And you can find this little programmable robot kit. It's fantastic. Uh, they were really cool and nice uh, at their stall, so I hope that you support them. Let's take another look at the thing itself. Oh, no, right, yeah, we have the Kitten Block app. Let's have a look at that. So uh, a really simple program that I was trying to load was uh, you go under extensions and uh, install the robot bit pieces here. Um, that's in the lower left corner of the main app, which I think maybe I need to make smaller so you can see it. Let's, uh, do do do. I can make this. Oh, I can't make it any shorter. Maybe I can move it up for you. Boom. Nope. <laughs> oh well. I think I moved something else. Oh well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if you grab this guy, it's like a regular scratch app. You can move motor one and, uh, you know, turn servo one through servo inputs they have here they've got eight of them which is nuts as well as two uh, stepper motor inputs and there's also an ultrasonic sensor which I don't believe I have on here that's that little uh, kitten ear shaped bit that you saw that kind of tugs into one side uh, and you could say like you know it can play a meow actually <laughs> I think there's a there's a meow sound I don't know where I add that it's got to be under sound then Play meow. Yeah, so you could have it do that, for example. Um, you know. And then you would upload that. However, I have not been able to get the thing connected. You would just select it up here. And if my port showed up, it would be there. <laughs> so let's go back to the actual looking at the thing. We've got, again, I didn't buy the robot chassis. I only had so much space in my luggage. And I also brought back that whole haul of surface mount soldering stuff that I showed you last Monday. Um, and yeah, so here are all the little servo out inputs, outputs, <laughs> plugs, one through eight. Um, and then you've got motor one and motor two. These are for five wire steppers. Um, I unfortunately have a ton of four wire ones, but only have been able to find one five wire one. So if I actually make a robot with this, it's only going to be able to drive around in circles. Boo hoo. Uh, we'll figure it out. And get something cute running for you. Uh, it's got on off switch, you can charge it through the USB port. You've got a couple of little feedback LEDs over here as well. Uh, and yeah, some some controllable NeoPixel LEDs. Zero, one, two, V and G. I'm not sure what those are for yet. Uh, I don't know, in my mind it says voltage and ground, but that doesn't make any sense. So <laughs> I guess we'll find out later. Uh, and then, of course, the micro bit, which uh, I'm assuming you'll be able to give it, uh, get visual feedback that way, um, as, you know, given that you can control the micro bit with it. Uh, so I'm excited to explore this more with y'all. Uh, as you can see, the, the micro bit just sort of slots into this thing here. It's a little bit of a tight fit, so hopefully I don't destroy everything making this happen. <laughs> this, is, this is really nerve wracking. I'm really clumsy. Okay, cool. We got, uh, yeah, and you, you put it in this way with the uh, LEDs facing to the outside. So yeah, this thing was just launched last month. Uh, I'm really excited to have one and we'll be back soon with some more insights on it and hopefully a tutorial 
getting started guide in English for us. But um, in the meantime, if you speak Chinese, you can navigate all the resources that they have. Please report back. Very excited to see more of this thing. Uh, have a happy MCU Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow.